I'm Michael Dettinger. I'm a uh, hydrologist with the U.S. Geological Survey and a research associate with the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Michael, we're at a sustainable mobility conference and you were talking about the scarcity of water. And talk to me about how much water goes into producing the electricity, the, not just the electricity, but energy in, in, at all for the, the United States. Right. Well, in recent years, the uh, about 40% of, of the uh, water use in the United States has been to produce to produce electricity by um, by coal and natural gas and nuclear power plants and the like. Um, that doesn't include a, another perhaps 20 percent or something like that of water that ends up going through hydroelectric dams and the like to generate power there. So, so you know our ways of generating electricity in partic particular are entirely bound up with the uh, with the amounts of well with the amounts of water that's available to sustain power plants and and, uh, and hydroelectric facilities so, so what you basically what you're saying is the hydroelectric power doesn't get counted because you're not really using it it's just passing right. through the 40 percent that you are using is that reclaimed water or is that water that consumers would be drinking that's uh, what i was the 40 percent was all fresh water and it's all water that probably would be used in other ways um, if it weren't going through the the power plants now a lot of that most of that water actually ends up coming out the other side of the water plants uh, of the power plants and into rivers and and lakes and and the like and so it ends up being used further downstream, but in the process, the temperature of the water has been raised and the quality of the water has often been degraded. Um, I should say that although hydroelectric plants, dams and the like, don't use water, um, they do place serious constraints on how much water is available for other uses because the power plant operators uh, want to have water behind them for use to generate the power and so there's a, always a competition between water users who might be going to use the water for irrigation or drinking water or for uh, environmental purposes and the power generation folks whether it be the cooling water for for coal plants or the hydroelectric plants uh, even though they don't the power plants don't use actually evaporate off that much water because they need water to be available when they need it and in amounts that they need it really constrains how much the water can be used and where it can be used for other purposes.